everybody, and in this tutorial for the IDDA Minibytes, I'm going to show you how to uh, do a 3 to 3 mock-up in Medit Design Tools. So first we have to bring in the files that we're going to use for the case. It can be from any scanner. I'm just going to bring in these example files from Medit just for just for ease of what I have on the desktop here. So I'm going to bring in this file, these files here, the upper, lower, and bytes. Just they're in the folder. There we go. I'm also going to go to my downloads file. I have the Jan Haito F1 library here, which is the same as the Mesh Mixer female library uh, that I have um, that's an integrated one. I'm just going to select 3 to 3 by holding the control button. I'm not going to select the 4s. So I've brought those STLs in. You can see them down here. They're the 6 STLs that we're going to have overlaid onto the teeth. I'm going to click on the Medit Design software app, and that's going to bring up this screen where we are going to tell the software which files we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to select the upper, and I'm going to select each of these STLs to start working on. And you can see it's going to bring them in just the same as when I uh, opened them in the other screen. The teeth are not in the same position, so I need to go to Edit Mode. <clears throat> and you can see we have all the different options to work on here. But if we're going to align things, it needs to be in the same position, doesn't it? So that's not going to work. We can't align them like that. Now, we could align them by clicking points and referencing, but what an easier way to do it is to transform them, just like pressing the T tool in Mesh Mixer. So I'm going to select all of those teeth, and that's actually a really nice way of doing it. Rather than going in the object browser, in Mesh Mixer and selecting teeth there by holding the shift. With this, I can just click that transform tool and then go in and I'll select the teeth that I want to move around. I'm going to hold down the arrows with my left mouse click to move all of those objects all at once. And this is obviously in this case, we've got an arch where um, for, the, uh, for the sake of argument, I'm going to say that the occlusal plane is fine, the midline is fine. So I'm going to move things around using these arrows and align them relative to the existing um, teeth. If you wanted to make sure you wanted to correct a cant or anything like that, obviously we could bring in a full face. Um, we could bring a full face 3D scan in. We could bring in a scan of the mouth and the nose and the eyes. But whatever the case, I'm going to move these six teeth just by holding down these arrows and resizing them by holding these little squares. So I'm just moving things out, getting the incisal level around about right. And this is just to reshape the buckle face. I'm not bothered about the occlusion. I'm not bothered about where it overlaps and creates sort of a double two. It's just for mock-up purposes. And we don't need to worry too much about the effects of this. So. If we want to go back in and select just a couple of the teeth to move or resize, then again, we can. So like these canines, so I've gone and just collect, uh, selected these two canines and I can stretch those out a little bit, make those a little bit bigger, bring, bring those down into uh, change the orientation slightly to fit with the existing dentition. There we go. So we're going to rotate that a little bit there. We'll just have a look down the corridor. And the idea of this, of doing these mock-ups, is really just to make sure that we get the tooth shape right. So again, you can go back in and select that one tooth to move. Reangulate that just a little bit to get it to more in line with the teeth there. So it's not interfering with the gum. And the idea with this, if it's going to merge well, we don't want to have any of these teeth sticking through um, the top of the impression. So basically class it as breaching the border of the scan. If they breach the border of the scan, then it won't merge properly. So, I mean, this scan isn't very, it doesn't really go up very highly into the gingiva. But if you have a bit more, then you can always reshape with the tools um, the new mock-up teeth to make sure they do there. Again, I've selected these four just in the middle to make sure the midline's right, to have them at the right angulation, the inclination of them, the length of them, 
just to get things around about right. And like I said, this is just to print off so that we can give the patient an idea of this tooth library shape on their teeth. If this is good, then this library, then we can take full, we can copy it, uh, we can copy the changes we make to this once it's in the mouth. It's, it's a nice way of doing it. It's part of the process that we teach in our smile design courses simply because sometimes you'll do this and the patient will want things slightly more squared off, slightly more rounded off, chips put in into it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really easy like that. Once you've selected all those teeth, we just select the Boolean tool and combine it with that model and we just click complete. So once that's selected with the Boolean tool, we select all our teeth, it's combined, it's now one new united mesh. I'm saving that case. And that mesh is here with all the other files. We can then go into Model Builder. And in Model Builder, and this is all in real time, by the way. So we're going to go into Model Builder. I'm going to select that united mesh, bring that into the maxilla, confirm. And we've got this mesh. And you can see that... The way that uh, the Medit software is running this, it's actually you uh, taken the color um, overlay and put that over the mock-up. So it's gone a little bit crazy where the gum is there, the teeth are, but that won't matter. Once we've made this, uh, once we've made this 3D object, this will be fine. So I'm going to select here, obviously on that upper left to three area, ideally the scan would a little bit have been a little bit higher up. It's not my scan, but... Um, for the purpose of this demo, I can show you. Um, but once that's done, then we're just gonna go through these steps, click the three points to align this again. There we go. If it's not quite right, select it again. There we go, bang. And then just realign things a little bit. Go to the next stage, doesn't really matter. We're just going to take an impression, a putty impression, a pushy wash, putty wash once everything's really clean and cured to try in in the patient's mouth. So I'm going to select that. I've got my settings, which I've already shown in the other video with the drain holes, with it hollow. It's going to create a nice base for me. And that is a five minute, three to three mock up done with a model. Very nice and easy to use. And in my opinion, might be easier than doing the mock-up in MeshMix, and it's free. So I think a great way to move from uh, doing MeshMix and mock-ups to doing it with Medit. So I hope you enjoyed that. Watch out for the other video, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.